are your new AT&T gateway. That way you can have some fun, super fast internet. What are the first steps you want to do? The first thing you want to do is download the Smart Home Manager app. That little QR code is on there, will take you straight to the app store and you can download that app. Second thing is you want to locate where your fiber or copper inside wiring is at or the jacks what they call it in this box there's an instruction manual that's going to help you just a little bit or you can follow this video locating your jacks can be as simple as opening a blind or it could be in the living room or in the bedroom or in a smart panel i have placed these in this room and i got them a little covered up right now that way i can use them whenever i want to help people out with self-installs. All right, now that you've located your, your fiber jacks, your AT&T branded jack, or your ONT, you wanna go ahead and power up your gateway. Either have this guy or this guy here, which I don't have a power supply for, but if you did receive the power supply for this device, it should be in that kit. Secondly, you're going to locate the power supply for that device right there because there's no power to it. Of course, there's no signal because this is a mock install. Once you plug it in, it's going to be on the right hand side next to this little power button here. All right. Say you're on copper, then you're going to be looking for this green cable to be connected into the green port of this residential gateway. And it just plugs in the simple. It's just plugging it in, ripping a wire off the wall and add a super simple it. And one handed. You got the click, this device starts blinking green, and you're in business. All right, now that we've established that you do not have copper, but you do have fiber, you're, we're going to go ahead and just imitate the mock and just remove this from here and go straight to the fiber line. Now, once your gateway is powered in, you're going to want to take this, this, um, this fiber, jet, fiber line and plug it into here. I'm, mine's missing. I think one of the kids took it, but it's going to plug in on that side with the red port connecting and you're going to take the other end which is this guy right here locate your plug in for the gateway and just go ahead and insert it inside the device ah that beautiful sound once everything is connected and you do have a true line signal the gateway is going to start blinking green for ready for activation you will be using the smart home whatever smart home manager app to activate the gateway once you got all that going that light should stop blinking red go to white go back to red and then start blinking fast white if it does not blink fast white and it starts blinking like this and stays this way you're probably disconnected like mine is or it's not connected at the main hub at that point in time you will want to go ahead and call 1-800-288-2020 that is 1-800-ATT-2020 or 1-800 288-2020. Have them send you out a technician to come and get this fixed up for you guys. That way you can have internet. This is just a simple, super duper duper quick self-install guide. Uh, what to look for on these little three jacks over here. So we will see you next time.